Hello everybody and welcome to another video from Einbeck in Germany uh, on our Euro Tour 2019. We have spent the day at a very, very special inaugural event of what we've known as the Detailing Convention. And we've managed to recruit here uh, Moritz and Nico, who are the founders, the developers, the, 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 the creative power behind the show. And um, what I want to do is get to know you guys, because in the UK we have Waxdoc. Um, so we started that show, I say we, I mean we've just sort of turned up, but the show has been in existence since 2012 and it's been developing and developing. And there are a couple other shows in, in South America, there are some obviously in America, there are huge shows and stuff like that. But in terms of continental Europe for detailing shows, you guys are pioneers. <laughs> um, and before, without kind of further ado, I'd like to say what a success today has been. Thank you, sir. It Thank has you. gone really, really well. Um, and I want to know what, who you are, what you yeah. do, what you did before detailing, yeah. and what gave you motivation to do what you've done today. So, should we start? Yeah, my name is uh, Maurice Stratton. I'm 27 years old, born and raised in Berlin, and um, I'm running a company called Autolack Affen. That's a, kind of a word joke of um, gloss monkey or paint monkey. And uh, yeah, I'm running the company with uh, Nico since uh, 2014, and we're running a detailing um, YouTube channel in German, and also since two years a professional detailing garage. And one big thing about the YouTube channel that you guys run is it's German language, isn't it? And it's fearsomely German language as well. I think a lot of people um, do things in English because they feel they have the biggest market. And instead of saying, right, let's hit as many people as possible, you've said, no, no, let's pick a niche detailing within a niche detailing in Germany, within a niche German language <laughs> detailing in Germany. But by being so pedantic on that, you've really, you've, you've nailed it. I mean, I've, I've been looking through some of the videos. I'm going to be honest. Don't understand a word of it, <laughs> <laughs> but it looks cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm trying to uh, show even when you only watch the video what's really important, mm -hmm. and this is all about the techniques. Yeah. Yes, the methodology yes. of detail, and, and, and on what all this uh, like niche of the niche is, uh, it's, it's positioning in a really uh, special market, mm -hmm. and um, this is what we're trying to do since. Uh, since the beginning of this year, really specific on professional detailers. And, and that's an interesting point. A lot of YouTube channels and stuff like that are very much targeting the amateur detailer. They have the clickbait title, how to wash a car in three seconds, and, yeah. and all of this stuff. And um, the, there are obviously professional detailers, but again, if you're a professional detailer on YouTube, your general ambition is to increase your reputation to get more customers, mm -hmm. or just to feed the ego. Exactly. But because of the way that, in fact, it's the same with us, is that we, we don't do detailing as a service or anything. So we're, we're very much trying to show uh, a viewpoint for both the enthusiast and the professional. But you very much stand up for the professional too. And, and, and again, that I feel is, is necessary. We are, we are a small group in the UK, in Germany, um, everywhere. I mean, in, Germ in uh, the US, it seems every other person is a detailer. But um, <laughs> over here in continental Europe, it's, it's a bit different. Um, so that's, that's really cool. So, um, yeah. Get oh, forward, yeah. I'm Nico, to say Nikolai Reitz, I'm just, uh, like Moritz said, we just founded the company in 2014, just by starting YouTube channel, um, covering things in car care, I would, I would say mm. first, not detailing, it's, it started yeah. with car care, yeah. um, because I just, yeah, it was my own thought to, to do a German channel, because I watched MINYC, I watched, um, I don't know if white details have already been in there, Any, yeah. anyway, some English channels, and I just thought, why, why, why isn't there a German channel who's showing it? So I just started by, by, by hobby, I think. Mm. Just and then, yeah, yeah, then it, it organically grows. And we just, yeah, we just found yeah. the, the, the detailing shop with a big growing YouTube channel. Just having a mind to explain the um, things that happen behind the scenes, so to say. Mm. So we just... Uh, it's, it's not enough for me just to, to think, okay, it works, I want to know how it works and why it works. So yeah. I just asked uh, producers, we, we asked uh, te technicians yes. and filmed it on YouTube and I think some people are just watching it. 
mm. that was the background. And again, it is it is that depth of, of things. And again, I, I can't tell the word, but I understand what you're kind of saying, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Mm. And it is that, that detail, it's that holistic understanding of why we do what we do. Exactly. And that's really important. We try to focus on that. You know, we there are channels that have started up more recently than we have, and they're flying through. Uh, they've got thousands of subscribers because uh, of their clickbait titles and short, snappy, sexy videos. Yeah. I don't do short, snappy, or sexy. <laughs> um, but we do try to go into really quite pedantic detail. Uh, yeah. And generally speaking, I aim to do a video that will turn 99% of people, turn them fast asleep. But that 1% who stay awake have uh, either taken yeah, a lot of yeah. drugs yeah. or, or yeah. they're really interested in the yes. topic. Yeah. And, and these are the people you want to talk with. Exactly. Because they speak the same language. Yeah. And, and they want to know more. Yeah. They, they, they just uh, don't want to... Uh, they, they, it, it's not enough for them to uh, see that, okay, this polish works. They, they want to know why is it working and why is this working better than that one. Yes. And not because of what brand it is, because what's inside there. Right. Yeah. And, and why is this working with that and yeah. on that paint better than on the other? Yeah. And this is like how, how it started and why is this uh, cleaning method better than this or faster? And also since we are running the with, with garage. The, without yeah. just comparing products. So yeah. What, yeah. what many channels do is just I have product A, product B, what is the best product? But I, I, I think it's, it's all about yeah. the methods. And the product genre as well. Why yeah. this type of, for yeah. example, take uh, glass cleaners. Yeah. Vinegar glass cleaner versus uh, an alcohol yeah. glass cleaner. Yeah. Pros and cons yeah. to both. And it doesn't matter which product yeah. is purchased. Yeah. It's, it's a technology. And what do you want to use it for? It will quite, exactly. Yeah. No, I mean, like, like there, there are specific products for specific types of work, mm -hmm. and they, they're, um, they're not needed for any other work. Well, quite. I mean, it's like the glass cleaners again. Glass it's, cleaners. If you want to just a salad, glass. you use a vinegar one. If you want to get drunk, you do the alcohol. <laughs> it's simple. Um, and I think the final point on that would be to say that equally, when you're going wrong, when something isn't doing what you want to do, if you understand what's yeah, happening that's, underneath, that's you can point. really tweak it. Yeah. Whereas otherwise, it's just like padding around yeah. in the dark. You don't know what you're doing. Grabbing just the next product. Oh, maybe yeah. this works. Exactly. Does the next pad. The number of that questions we get with people yeah. asking, and they say, "Well, oh, what pad and compound yeah, yeah, machine yeah. do I use?" Yeah. It's not on a 2007 BMW. Yeah. The we have specific years. questions. So yeah. We've been running an online shop for uh, detailing fitment and products as well, yeah. and um, they they really ask us. Um, I'm driving a Audi uh, B5, mm -hmm. uh, you know, RS4 in red, Milano um, red, yeah. and how to polish. I've been saying which, which, which uh, polish show by or, or which compound show by for it. I've been given a VIN number. Somebody's emailed me their VIN number <laughs> saying this is the best way for the specific car. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Depends what the weather is. <laughs> Watch some videos. And yeah, but well, really, maybe you, you have a little bit uh, a little, little educational yeah. part. And, in and it. I would say a really important element is pick your videos carefully because there are some where you can watch a ten minute video and you say, "Right." Oh, but as I say with your channel, it goes into such depth that, it, that it's kind of a good authority yeah. to look to. And I, I think yeah. that there aren't that many channels out there yeah. which are great authority because half of them are just looking for clickbait. Yeah. You know, how do you clean your car with Pebble Dash? And then the other half are trying to sell you a product. So you've got that little bit in the middle that are kind of slightly yeah. more, I don't know, um, utopian channels, should we say. Yeah. Um, that have so got clean so motors. So we've also been, I would say, uh, swiping around between those balls because. There was a time we just tried to get most clicks for. We just tried to make videos that are very viral. Yes. And then we were trying to sell our products from our shop and there was some time we just recognized we don't want to do either. So yeah. just what 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 is our what is our best strength? So we know what you do, what we do, and we know how, who to ask if you don't? So yes, yeah. we understand what, what is happening. So yeah, you have a good black book, yeah. so to speak. Yeah, context. exactly. Yeah. 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 We have all the context because um, I'm, I was just thinking, well, like, oh, wouldn't it be nice for all the producers to show us how, how it's been done? And, uh, and uh, I was just writing emails. Hello, we are a little uh, on YouTube uh, channel. We show detailing and we want to know what's behind it. And the producers and, 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 and Sonax, Sonax was was the first one, the first yeah. one that we visited, and that's a credit uh, yeah. because we, we do similar sort of things, and um, you get some who are like oh, no, if you haven't got a million followers, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. but actually yeah. the ones who really engage, they're the ones who do very very well. So um, enough about that. Let's focus on DV car. What um, now? I, I like how you say a <laughs> decal. I like that. That's kind of cool. It's like yeah. a Legion detail, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and um, I, a little birdie told me that you have a background in events management and yeah. perhaps arranging yeah. raves and um, oh, 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 kind of. Kind yeah. of. Yeah. When we uh, were seventeen, yeah. 
we we started in uh, party label, party lube, mm -hmm. party line. Okay. So, so, so uh, we're addicted to animals. And so, <laughs> oh, so animals. Like, like we said, auto lock often is a monkey, so yes. uh, party lube is a lion, so we're just a oh, like, like, like the zoo company. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> zoo <laughs> the camera. Yeah. That's cool. So you have yeah. that kind of background, you knew how yeah, to. Yeah, and we did the event management, like um, managing or hosting weddings and mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah. Of, of animals or of humans? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. 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 It's when you mix them, that's when the babies are interesting. Yeah. Um, so you had that and you thought, right, let's, let's do this. So um, what do you envisage, uh, well, what did you want from this first event? You've, you've obviously a lot of planning has gone into it, a lot of organization. Yeah. Congratulations on the venue. This place yeah. is, is very cool. Thank you. It is in the middle of nowhere, but it's very, very cool. Yeah, but it's in the middle. It is in the middle. That's the point. That's, the point. <laughs> that's, that's a key. Yeah. Um, and to be fair, we were, uh, Palolock is only 40, 50 minutes away. Yeah. Um, and I think Frankfurt, we're going tomorrow, and that's about three hours away. Yeah. So no, it's, it's, it's all good. Um, uh, but it's, it's the scenery. It's, this, it's a classic car museum, but it's a wacky classic car museum. Yeah. It's got cars stuck to roofs for no apparent reason. <laughs> Outside, they had a 190E Mercedes that had a front and a front. <laughs> Very strange. Uh, they they uh, cut car, ha, cars in half or just rip all them outside, uh, all them outside to show the inside of yeah, it. Yeah, I think it's a nice touch. It's yeah. cool. Um, sort of x ray car. Um, yeah. And the, the actual place itself had a proper stage. And that's something that's really, really key because it had a mixture of an open plan for the, for the exhibitors, but then you had a proper stage with lots of reasonably comfortable chairs, um, and you'd organize some serious media. I saw the, the video cameras that were doing all the live streaming and all the kit and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. And firstly, I felt very jealous, and I felt very <laughs> poor, and then I felt very unpopular. <laughs> so, and these are all facts. Um, but it was amazing. And you, you were saying, even like hours into it, you still had something like 60 people glued yeah. to the screens of it, yeah. even once you've been running for like two or three or four hours. Yeah. Um, and that's a real credit. And just even if they're talking just about, I don't know, <laughs> what, what were they talking about, about methyl cleaning. Yeah. So it's just a... Methyl cleaning. Uh, uh, yeah. Just skull you know, to know, clean but, metal. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing more. <laughs> How many people do you think pulled a sickie from work just to be able to watch that? How many How many work hours do you think have been lost all over Germany? <laughs> I, I don't want to call Two, pay them. <laughs> <laughs> 2,000 fewer volt fans have been built as a consequence. Yeah. Um, and um, so that's going along. And did it go as you planned? Did it go better than you planned? Way better. Yeah. Way better. Yeah. We, we didn't expect so much. Because uh, w when we started it and we sent... Um, Letter of intent, letters of intent to mm -hmm. um, all the industry. The uh, feedback was very low, and mm -hmm. I re re we really had to fight for it and explain what we're doing because, of course, yes, um, it's it's the first time doing something like this. So you don't have something to compare with, and you you can't tell someone, oh, it's like it's like SEMA, yeah. just a little bit, smaller. a bit smaller. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, and also yeah. the other thing is that manufacturers. In my experience, and again, talking to organizers of other detailing shows and automotive shows, is uh, that a lot of people, for the first couple of shows, the manufacturers, the supporters, will sit back and just see how it goes. Mm -hmm. And the problem with that is, if everybody sits back, it tends to go badly. Mm -hmm. But if everybody gets involved in it, then it becomes big quickly. So, so we just force them to be involved. We yes. just said, you have to do workshops, you have to do, um, yeah. I don't know, uh, yeah, uh, the stage show, yeah, stage shows. workshops, yeah. and, and we also say, Please, please launch something, yeah. and, and it happens. And your wishes. And actually, twice, we didn't know like, oh, my dreams came yeah. true. Yeah. We just, we, we, we just didn't know. Yeah. 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 You're talking about the PXE. Yeah. 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 And we, we, we just got to know today what it is. Yeah. yeah. So. And also color lock the scanner. Yeah. The scanner's very cool. Yeah. I'm uh, tempted it didn't launch us because we obviously got the videos to put the first. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> but it was but, good. And what I like the resources. They bought RAM from Color Lock over in the UK. Yeah. They had quite a lot of the office came up from, from you know from down south. Um, and equally with Flex, they brought a lot of resources in. They, yeah. they you know, they sure. put effort into yeah. the stands. And obviously Flex, big company, they're gonna have their show pack, so to yeah. speak. Um, and, and again, Sonax, um, absolutely need to mention, they have the, they have the um, headlights all in the, in the display panel, which is very cool. Yeah. They have the little competitions going on between the two people. I, again, because we held them in gym, I didn't quite know, I thought it was very aggressive. No. Thought, Why are two people doing this? <laughs> <laughs> I thought, well, white's gonna break out, and there is no, it's a competition. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Exactly, the, 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 the contest was the part how we tried to involve our our um, followers. Yes. Uh, so we started it in social media, and we had a vote there, and then the three fi finalists came here, and they had to bring a car. Um, thank you for that, because yeah, they, yeah, uh, yeah, they came this morning and said, 
C sixty three S estates. Yeah. There was yes. a Porsche convertible. No, 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 no it was Audi A eight by the Audi. They all look the same to me. Uh, They're not too. <laughs> <similar. laughs> they were different colors, so we were very different colors. Yeah. So white, that. black, and gold. Yeah. And gold, of course. Yeah. The, yeah. the BMW. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Sexy. Yeah. Oh, I, I didn't have too close a look at it because, again, it shows. I know there was a lot of concern with in the UK on the on the wax top with the professional detailers were put off because they didn't want to be judged. They were nervous about putting the work out there, and I think that might be the same elsewhere. You know, detailers are. There's a, you've got to be a bit careful around them sometimes. Yeah, so, yeah. trying to make it as friendly and open as possible, yeah. and not having that backlash of oh, I saw a swirl. Uh, yeah. 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 Just get out of it. Yeah. <laughs> um, that, but, and, and I think. Almost all guests were pros, so yeah. they know what the issue is. So yes. they see it and they think, no, it could be my car, so I'm just... Uh, uh, yeah. wait, and and you, don't, you don't know what's going uh, on right now? No. You, you remember the car on the stage? Yes. Oh, there's a group around it right now, and they're trying to fix some uh, scratches in it. Yeah. <laughs> they're discussing about, is it fixable or not? Yeah, just oh, no, it's true. The I think oh, I think I can fix it. Just give me some scotch paper, right. uh, sand paper. Right. I just will not send it. The cars can be just. Well, they are spare metal. Competition, yeah. Yeah. competition is over since one hour, but they're still standing there and just uh, yeah. wet sanding the car. Yeah, you know, because yeah. I think it was well, Mercedes. It had I think it was stone chips on the front of it, and I, that's the first thing I saw was the chips on there. Yeah. And again, as you say, yeah. is that the one hand people say, oh well, that's not very good. Yeah. On the other hand, though, it's there's like, a limited. Social media, they would have done. Yes. Social media, they would have counted everything as well. Yeah, no, but I in real life they don't, so just we want to connect the people in real life just to get to know and then they won't do it in social media, I think. Yes. I hope. No, 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 I think, I think you're absolutely yeah. right. Yeah. Is that there are many fewer disagreements in real life. Yeah. But, um, but also to come back to the show and the exhibitionists, they, they were really involved because mm -hmm. we asked them to do it and because we explained them, it's maybe just, uh, we expected 150 guests yeah. or 200 guests, but these guests are pro detailers, they will ask you uh, Everything. Yeah. So be prepared. Uh, Bring your details, not your sales. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So 100% target group. I don't know where you could find this target group. So mm. I think everyone today was pro or pro enthusiastic. I would yes. call it. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah. so yeah, we, we told it to them. They first they were afraid because we didn't have 5,000 guests and they were like, oh, let's see what will happen. And maybe somebody would get fired if, <laughs> if it doesn't yeah. work that way. But there are people in this big companies who are. Um, going forward, are saying let's let's. They're, they're let's thinking out of the box. They they mm -hmm. really bring to like old structures, maybe new ideas, yeah. and they fight for it. And yeah. um, these people we have to thank for. Yeah. Thank you, Yasmin yeah. from uh, Flex. Yeah. Yes, was, thank you, was, Oliver from Flex. Yes, thank you, Oliver from Flex. From Flex, they were um, into the project and they supported it from the beginning. Yeah. We know and you fought for it. Of course, Lars and Chiara from uh, Colorlock. And Sonax yeah. also. Of I think Sonax. everyone who was yes. there today is a yeah. pioneer from yeah. exhibitors to guests. Everyone just paid the money the to, from, from to yeah. and, and also yeah. another thing is it didn't feel like a hard sell. Yeah. So the one thing with some shows, uh, and it's not just, it's, it's wax drop the detail, but it's all a lot of car shows, is that it's all sell products. You know, the only way a show is a success is if I've spent £2,000 yeah. going to show yeah. and I come home with £5,000 yeah. or, or Euros. Yeah. Um, yeah. But this one, there was very so, little in the way of that, and I think that almost having a non-retail show, it's more of a convention, it's yeah. or an exhibition, yeah. just as you've named it, yeah. um, rather than a kind of a, a buy, swap, sell sort yeah. of place. So, yeah. um, have you had ideas about next year? I know you guys are knackered, you've done all this, so I'm going to ramble on straight yeah. To, yeah. to the next one, or is that something to do with tomorrow? I think w we have a lot. No, uh, uh, you know, the, the show was done for us when it was 10 in the morning. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like the, yeah. the rest was... It just happened. Yeah. Automatic. Yeah. yeah. Let it flow. And yeah. also for you, of course, you, you have to you have to be on the stage, but it was like, it was all prepped. Yeah. Well, we we only had to... about uh, organizing issues, so... So, so, so we had time well, before yeah. to think about what, what yeah. will happen when it's, it's like this or like that. Well, I have to admit, I've been wandering around, as you probably see me hiding in the shadows with a long lens, which is what I like doing. So. <laughs> um, but I've been, I've got obviously snaps of you guys, but to be fair, you were running around, but you never looked panicky. I mean, I don't know you well enough to know what your complete panic face is, but <laughs> you were fairly calm and collected. You had a strange sort of bum bag going on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that a style thing? Sure, show it. Um, yes. Yeah. Worn like this. <laughs> yeah. I just want to say now that I'm a big believer in the 1980s. I think they were a very cool time, and, and I think that's that why this is exactly it. Uh, thank you, yeah. sir. 
So yeah. it's, it's a kind of. I, I stole from my girlfriend, but I think she's fine now. Yeah, she's she's, she's fine with it. Yeah, I love it. Don't worry, she's found another man. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> so um, all in all, great success. I talked to visitors. I talked to exhibitors. I talked to accidentally the security staff, <laughs> thinking they were an exhibitor. He <laughs> 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 told me to put the fire extinguisher. They down. were so nice, weren't they? They were not exactly. Yeah. Really. Security staff. Yeah. 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 yeah I, they were so they were friendly. So interested. Yeah. 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 I mean, he's so friendly. I, I thought that job. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you took pity on us, I think. Yeah. Um, but and and everybody was saying this is so much better than what I expected. I think a lot of oh, us, cool. you know, we came all the way to Germany to come and do this. We've done a week, yeah. but this was the initiator. Yeah, so, uh, James on the mag that's said, so "Look, crazy. you know, this this is something yeah. you need to be in on." Well, uh, and he's obviously known you guys for a while, and he was like, "Look, this is this is this is a real McCoy," mm -hmm. um, and he wasn't wrong. Um, mm -hmm. You guys have really really pulled it off. Wow. So, congratulations. Thank you. I think you're owed more than a pint or two in the bar. <laughs> but I have terrible news for you. The bar downstairs is shut. Oh, we got so some beers. We got yeah. some beers on backstage. Yeah. I said that. Cool. Okay. Have you got it? Uh, thank you very <laughs> thank much, you, sir. Thank you. That's all. So, see you next year. Right? Yeah. Yeah. What, what's this? What's oh, this? Yeah, you've been so, talking about. See, see you on the beer. Yeah, 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 yeah no, no, no. It's priority. It's priority. Oh. <laughs>